Okay. Good morning, everyone. So today again we are meeting in our forestry uh, role of geoinformatics and forestry and uh, ecology. So in today's class we will be uh, discussing about the different uh, role of uh, you know uh, FAO in terms of uh, forest conservation, how they go for different operations which are related to the uh, you know taking care of various forests now what is this fao okay so fao is basically a food and agriculture organization uh, where where uh, the main uh, you know uh, takeaway of this fao uh, is related to the you know uh, combating different uh, uh, issues which are related to hunger and reduce poverty globally by improving different activities which are related to the uh, for agriculture forestry and fishing practices so uh, what is the fao or uh, what do you mean by this fao the food and agriculture organization it is the uh, you know full form of this U, uh, FAO this is a United Nations agency that works on the international efforts to defeat hunger by developing agriculture okay then the major takeaways of uh, this food uh, and agriculture organization is that uh, as I told you this is an uh, UN uh, based agency which strives to combat hunger and re reduce the poverty uh, globally by improving agriculture, forest, and fishing practices. It is uh, uh, funded by uh, industrialized countries and development of banks. The FAO often works through public and private partnerships. Then it is uh, directly administrated aid uh, or food okay where the FAO attempts to set up the sustainable food sources resources and operational systems in a nation okay so understanding of this uh, food and agriculture organization basically it is working for uh, you know combating the different activities which are related to the hunger and strife control okay so we go for the different uh, uh, sustainable development uh, uh, activities through which we can go for the uh, you know combating these kind of problems now our concern is uh, the role of fao uh, in forestry and forest management okay so as we know that forest covers 27 percent of the land surface on the earth Okay, so in the previous lectures also we have seen that many uh, people, many communities, they are directly, uh, you know, depending on various forests for their food, for their shelter and other activities. So uh, it is very important to uh, go for the sustainable development of the forest also along with the agriculture okay and we we we, we know that uh, the larger amount around 27 percent of the land surface of the earth is covered by the forest so they protect the environment the forest you know very well you have seen many incidents uh, where these forests they are controlling our uh, you know environmental system as well as the various disasters you have seen a disastrous, uh, you know, uh, during Corona times, during, uh, uh, you know, rainfalls, many places they are having a problem of uh, landslides. So directly or indirectly, the degradation of forests, they are responsible for the, you know, uh, the, the uh, disasters like landslides, like, uh, uh, you know, rock falls kind of things are taking place so uh, these forests they protect the environment and they provide essential benefits 
and services and are a pillar of nation's economy i we have seen many uh, you know uh, incidents in our previous lectures where the people they are directly or indirectly dependent on various agriculture and forest produces okay so this is very important pillar as far as the economy environment and other activities of the nation is concerned they are in uh, extricably uh, woven into the social framework of very existence the fao forestry program as uh, address one of the most important complex and controversial issues of mod modern times now what is that issue that how to use trees forest and related uh, resources to improve the people's economic social and environmental conditions in and around where these people are staying okay while ensuring them uh, for the sustainable growth of these forests also so fao programs they basically uh, focused on the uh, social economic environmental uh, related uh, you know uh, development in a particular area so that these forests can be maintained for the future generations also okay so mm -hmm. this is we uh, address to different fao forestry programs okay so um, the mm -hmm. fao work partnership uh, with governments international organizations international financing agencies ngos uh then private sector employees uh, communities and uh, different government organizations okay uh then community and various other interest individuals uh it focuses on that where uh, we go for the sustainable management of various forest uh, resources through partnership with government non government organizations international organization international financing agencies okay all these uh, club they are joining their hands for the sustainable development as, uh, of uh, forest as well as for the agriculture but here we are discussing about the forest but uh, whatever is directly or indirectly related to the food security we uh, this fao they are focusing on the development of these things then fao works in forestry is comprehensive interdisciplinary uh, effort okay interdisciplinary uh, effort organized into various programs where the forest policy and planning uh, is involved okay it it also includes the community uh, forestry okay where uh you know uh different kinds of community planting plantations can be done so that uh it can be you know uh used for the benefit of a particular community area okay so forestry and food security if we talk about then food security means ensuring the physical and economic access to food and adequate nutrition to all people okay when we are talking about the food security that means whether it is a uh, you know physical or economic access to the food it should be available to all the peoples okay so the trees and the plants they play an important role in providing food and security as they provide food for humans and fodder for the livestock so energy for the cooking of half of the world's population it also provides you medicinal products uh, it also provides income and uh, you know employment to various manpower okay so if you see uh, you know these trees and uh, plants or these forests they play very important role whether you talk about food whether you talk about the uh, you know uh, uh, life uh, stock or fodder for their life stocks of different cattle and animals uh, or you talk about the fuel for the cooking of their foods 
uh, on which maybe half of the population of total world they are dependent for uh, you know various fuels for their cookings to this forest then uh, forest they also provide us various kinds of herbs and um, uh, you know different kinds of medicines which are used for different kinds of uh, diseases to control then employment and income also to the people in involve different kinds of activities they also maintain the soil and water resources uh, which may be uh, used for different ecological balance which are essential for the food and agriculture uh, production okay so these are different forestry activities which are involved uh, for different kinds of food securities then the fao forestry program it also plays an important role in fao's broad interdisciplinary approach in incorporating all the developmental sectors in achieving the food security and uh, you know on uh, different kinds of approaches so you uh, here uh, the uh, aim of discussing the various programs of uh, fao to make you aware with the different policies which are related to the management of forests okay or the sustainable management of the forest uh, is involved now fao programs on forest resources it also deals with the you know assessment and management of various forest and wildlife resources uh, under these programs uh, the natural and plantation of forest of all types of biological and diversities uh, biodiversity is also taking into consideration then forest resource assessment is also a part of uh, you know this fao program based on uh, the different inventories which are related to the assessment of these forest resources where we go for the collection analysis and dissemination of different informations where we can go for the calculation of present and uh, you know um, uh, the current status of the forest and which may be helpful in uh, you know uh, making different uh, kind of uh, uh, this uh, programming for the development of the forest so uh, the fao it also focus on the uh, you know assessment and management of various forest resources uh, in which the wildlife resource management is again uh, important issue then the programs on forest products uh, fao uh, it used to promote the environmentally sound utilization of all type of forest products both woody and non woody at varying levels of complexity of operation and science in the process okay so when we are talking about the uh, you know forest pro products it is uh, you know taking care of both woody and non woody products of different size and different <coughs> then fao forestry <coughs> field work program it provides the direct technical and uh, direct technical assistance to different uh, field related projects okay when we are talking about forestry field program it is directly pro, uh, you know helping in providing different kinds of uh, technical assistance which are related to the different uh, you know forest surveys or programs the fao investment center helps different countries to increase the flow and the performance of investment in the sector of forest okay then uh, fao also stresses on the capacity building uh, to all of its works in the forestry development okay so capacity program building programs uh, through uh, fao it also uh, you know uh, 
works in the field of sustainable development of the forest is here the emphasis is placed on the national capabilities in the forest policy development and strategic planning on the strengthening uh, of different institutional strengths on the human resource development and assisting the local communities and organizations so that uh, you know assistance in training staff developing efficient methodologies uh, supporting research in sustainable forest management can be done so fao it is uh, you know going for the uh, different activities uh, through which these forests can be sustainably managed so in 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 this we have discussed about the programs which are on the forest resource uh, uh, mapping or assessment then we have also seen that various programs are also going on which are related to the inventories of different forest products whether they are woody or they are non woody then uh, different uh, kind of forestry field programs are also there so that uh, the different uh you know field related activities can be performed and these field related activities are related to the um, you know assistance in the training staffs developing eminent efficient and eminent methodologies and supporting research sustainable forest management related teams okay so this is about the uh different policies and uh, different functions of the forest departments and then the community forestry we have seen the forestry and food security where we are talking about the um, you know uh, the maintenance of the various food products through um, agriculture or through forest management then we have community forestry now in case of community forestry uh, it enables local communities to control and manage the forest and tree resources this kind of approach has emerged as a major strategy uh, for sustainable resource management in many countries okay so this kind of uh, community forestry is the major strategies for the sustainable forest de development in many countries because sustainable management of forest is not possible without the involvement of the local people who are uh, you know staying in and around those forested areas so the people who actually use the forest and depend on the products for their livelihood okay so in case of community forestry we are talking about the development of a you know forest area in a particular uh, uh, you know village or uh, in a particular town and this is a most common approach way which is being followed by various countries for the management or the sustainable management of the forest produces okay so uh, understanding of the socio economic and cultural relationship between the um, people and the forest is a key aspect of the community forestry it is also to understand the increases in which the encourage the local uh, people to use and play a uh, important role okay so in case of uh, this uh, community forestry it also provides us the understanding of socio economic and cultural relationships of the people how uh, because it provides a environment where uh, we are getting in uh, you know incentives the development uh, the options to various local people uh, so this is how we go for the understanding of the socio economic and cultural development or relationship between people then this community mm -hmm. forest unit fao has played an important uh, important role in this field particularly papers awareness 
and involve them into the aspect of forest management. Activities have been centered created in areas such as communal management of the forest resources, food security, nutrition, uh, gender, tree and tree uh, tenure, conflict management, non-timber forest product, small scale in, uh, industries, uh, and marketing information system and farmers, research and extension, the development of dissemination of the information made place has been priority okay so forest trees and people program uh, is launched for 1987 to uh, with the overall goals of strengthening the local people ability to manage the land use land cover uh, land use resources Okay, so then we have a community forestry which moves into the third decade. So community, in case of community forestry, we have, uh, you know, uh, some methods where we are talking about the sustainable development of forest, where we are taking care of, uh, you know, the socioeconomic and cultural relationship between people. So uh, basically, uh, we, we have, uh, you know, try to learn how FAO is, uh, you know, working in the direction of development of various forest and forestry related activities. Then uh, we have uh, to also understand the different uh, surveys and uh, uh, different uh, activities which are related to the, uh, you know, uh, development of uh, the forests. Okay, so I would now like to share my screen, and uh, I would like to show you a case study by FRA where they have tried to discuss the different techniques or methodologies which they are using for these. Uh, you know. things you see this is a methodology uh, which is being opted by this fra or fao okay so uh, here you see uh, in small forest areas of the few hectares, different kinds of measurements of forest characteristics can be made on a tree composing survey uh, area. It is 100% survey where the accuracy estimate will be high and cost will not be very great. In large forest areas, the sampling techniques are uh, instead of for cost and time consideration. A totals of sampling estimates are explored to the total awareness of the population, total area and the population. Now, uh, you see what are the, you know, various objectives of these kind of surveys into the different forest areas. Okay. Now, when we are uh, talking about the, uh, you know, size of the population and the size of the uh, total area, then the size of the forest population in this study, which we are taking as a case study, uh, is a study extends to the entire land surface of the forest domain in the world. And individual country will be independent survey uh, and compilation area of forest resource assessment. Okay, so complete country will be the study area, and um, each country will be. Uh, you know, going for the independent survey as per their norms and compile uh, the areas of forest uh, resources. For the population of the, uh, the size and diversity, the sampling design is to be selected. Mm, uh, selected should be 
strictly and technically adequate in order to generate the reliable and cost effective results because the area is so big so uh, the the uh, you know methods the different <clears throat> statistical operations or technical operations we are opting for they should be reliable uh, and they should be cost effective also uh, in this view uh, of the size and characteristics of the survey area population and uh, allocated resources the sampling may be random or systematic stratified or un un unrestricted uh, and multi phase or multi stage okay this can be performed now uh, what are the objectives of these kind of surveys which we are doing for different kinds of uh, forest uh, related activities now uh, here uh, the long term objectives or the uh, goals of this global forest survey which is also called as gfs okay global forest survey so why we need to go for these kind of surveys for the improvement of forest by providing decision makers and stakeholders with the best possible and most relevant cost effective information for their purpose at local national and international level okay so if we don't have a you know uh, idea that uh, what is there in uh, a particular forest in a particular country how we can plan for the management of forest area okay so for going uh, these kind of management into the various forests various uh, people they have tried to go for the global forest service so that they can uh, provide a decision maker tool for uh, various people who are involved at different local, global, and national levels planning, and also it can be a cost effective. Okay, then emulate and consolidate the uh, baseline information at country and FAO levels from the statistically verified data. Okay, so secondly, we have to. Uh, you know, uh, consolidate these data set in such a manner so that it can be statistically variable data uh, and it can be helpful for various policy makers, scientists and general public on state forest biodiversity at global, national and country level. Thus, thus the economic, social and environment related surveys can be done in a proper manner and their distribution and you know uh, other reliable information can be uh, useful for the future generations to come okay so in first we have uh, discussed about the different uh, activities related to the various uh, plannings we need the global forest survey okay then uh, these surveys can be performed at various levels so that uh, different data sets can be collected uh, at these regional, state, and global level. And what is the use? These data can be used for the sustainable development of various forest products. It is also promoting the multilateral cooperation and international partnership of conservation development and management of global forest for the uh, you know um, sustainable use of the components okay so it also promotes the multilateral operations and international uh, partnerships for various kinds of conservation, development, and management activities related to the global forest uh, resource uh, sustainable development. Okay, what are the, there are, these are the long-term goals where we are uh, going for the data collection, we are going for the sustainable management strategies and their implementation. Okay, and 
the finally the management but there along with these long term goals there are some goals which are uh, you know short term so in case of short term goals we have a development of a practical approach for the assessment and monitoring of forest resources at the country and global levels that meets with the concurrence of the member uh, countries and donors community then establish the uh, leadership of fao partnership and cooperation linkages with the well established national and international institutions carrying out research at different levels then support the members of the countries in establishing continuous forest resource management assessment and monitoring systems and developing their national capabilities for the same purpose then develop a world class database on the forest resources in uh, which the statistical text so these are some long terms and the uh, short term objectives of different uh, policies now uh, if you talk about the design consideration so there are different phases of uh you know development of these uh phases okay so in case of uh, option 1 we have different uh three phases in first phase uh the relative uh or the thing has to uh be done related to the classifying of the various forest data sets using different uh, data sets which are maybe optical datas which are maybe uh, the different aerial photographs of um, or the different census data sets okay vhhr land sets spot list etc in combination with the existing maps in combination with the historical so to create data sets using remote sensing data sets which may include different kinds of satellite images with different kinds of aerial photographs etc along with the historical data which you can get from the different forest departments and then we can go for the gfs global forest survey related uh, data sets inventory then under phase 2 uh, we have pre stratification uh will be done for uh, you know some grades uh those classify as the forest land according to the fixed sampling intensity the selected blocks will be <clears throat> serve as a vegetation classification using rsgis and will be visually interpreted uh or automatically interpreted on the basis of above faq vegetation classification in exit 2 okay so in second phase what we are doing we are do going for the uh, you know uh, interpretation of forest uh, classes using different data sets then in phase 3 uh, will be uh, selecting plots in each primary units and these plots will constitute the secondary method or units where the data on the forest and tree variables as well as on the environment and local population will be collected okay so after going for the collection of data sets and uh, uh, you know visually interpreting different things we are trying to um, you know uh, correlate these data sets with different environment whether they are related to the different temperature different uh, population related data sets for the different categories okay now under this where we have discussed the first phase i have told you that uh, the different inventories can be performed okay so here in case of the level 1 classification system the total land area is being calculated under this the land area where we can segregate the forested area and the non forested area can be done in case of forest area we can go for the different types or different densities of the forest then in this case uh 
we have followed this this complete uh, you know uh, methodology where after the demarcation of total land we have categorized the different land area where we have gone for two major classes identification forest and non forest under forest we have done with the classification of forest and then under non forest we have gone through the different forest uh or other land use land cover classification in second phase uh, we have the total area the forested area the other land the inland water and the uh, wooded land okay then in case of uh, uh, other wooded land we have uh, shrubs or the fallow lands okay now fallow lands again whether it is a, a long time fallow lands or it is uh, you know uh, placed for a as a fallow land for a short span of time then the total area we have forest now in case of forested area whether it is plantation or na man made or natural forest plantation means man made forest and then the natural forest is uh, uh, you know naturally occurred forest where we have again two classes where we have closed forest and op open forest okay so these are the types of closed and open forest otherwise also we can classify the forest based on the different uh, temperatures different uh, these kind of things can also be incorporated in other land and the water in the land then this is a sch schematic illustration of the great net and sample plot selection this is how we go for the sample selection in the field okay then based on these samples we can go for the forest types their number of uh, private holdings or then total hectares and then the status okay so this is how we uh, go for the inventories of these data sets then we have the size and shape of the field plots okay so as i told you that we go for the selection of field as we cannot take the complete world data in a single go so we go for a selection of plot size and these plots can be uh, you know observed by even minutely and then we uh, we can go and uh, go for the uh, different classification so we uh, we will be uh, you know uh, classifying these forests as per the uh, classification of the champion and seed classification then these are the different uh, variables which you can get from the different forested areas which may be related to their economy forest production environment forest protection and recreation and the social environment in the air and the forest okay so we have different kinds of forest productions also where there is a forested area forest structure forest species would be biomass so all these things are related to the uh, you know forest production productions forest aspects where we have ecological zones forest ecosystems uh, vegetation community health forest forest degradation deforestation types of uh, spatial patterns of the forest forest fires and other damages endemic species and endangered and threatened species so these are the environmental aspects again the social uh, uh, socio environment impacts where the land use classification can be done type of agriculture type of uh, uh, or use of bush fire settlements number of households these kind of observations can be done okay then we have different kinds of error where we are involved in different um, you know uh, to the tree diameter calculation to the tree height the, through the area plot etc okay then we can also go for the monitoring of different uh, fields where we can go for the field photos and photo image or pods okay then 
the modeling using uh, field and radiometric data okay so these are the data sets and this is how they have uh, calculated different inventories which are related to the forest inventories okay so i think with this i i i think i have tried to uh, give you a brief about the different inventories different uh, activities which are done by the fra or fao for the management or the sustainable management of different forests okay so uh, with this i will be ending my today's class where we have uh, studied the different activities which are related to the fao or f uh, 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 okay related to the various forest management and the uh, uh, service related activities now you all can appear for your quiz through your lms thank you very much